Ooh, I gotta tell you, this, what we have right here, this is hard. Speaking in front of a lens out loud, this is difficult. It's especially uh, weird when anyone else can hear you. It's not like sitting in a coffee shop and, and typing away on your laptop all silently sipping a cappuccino. No matter where this this happens, you and me, uh, it's it's out there for people to hear and it's uncomfortable. I, it's uncomfortable. I find this difficult to do this in my office with no one around. So I decided to take the camera out for a walk and find some place where I could do it outside. Hoo boy. It's just, it, what, look. Well, every once in a while, someone will, will walk by the path over there and I'll get awkwardly quiet and pretend that I'm not just talking to myself. Things. I don't know where that idea came from, but it was an awful one. Anyway, intro. So this week we're gonna talk about Jero Winkler, or Haro Winkler, or Yaro Winkler. Yaro Winkler! I don't know, I don't know how it's pronounced. If you do know what it is, then please uh, let me know in the comments because I would love to know so I don't make a fool on myself next time. We're going to stick with Jero Winkler right now because pfft, why not? Jero Winkler is a string similarity algorithm. It allows you to say, take one string as input, compare it against a whole bunch of strings and find out which of those strings is most similar to the input string. There's also something similar out there called the Levenstein distance, Levenstein distance, Le Leven Levenstein, Le 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 don't know. Anyway, the Levenstein distance is the number of edits between two strings or the number of edits it would take one string to get to another string. So if you have bar and you're comparing it to bear, that's one edit distance away. You have to insert an E. Jero Winkler, on the other hand, gives you a range from zero to one of how similar one string is to the other. So in this case, the Jero Winkler package on NPM, you'd look for the highest score, while with the Levenstein distance, you'd be looking for the lowest score. Algorithms and libraries like these are very useful for when you're implementing your own search functionality in a website, or if you're setting up an autocomplete. I'm sure a lot of us have probably implemented some sort of naive autocomplete at some point in our lives where Given the first few letters of a string, maybe somebody had just started entering three characters, we would then auto-complete everything else that starts with that string. Now that works, but it's pretty naive, doesn't account for typos, and doesn't account for uh, comparing the any aspect of the string's internals. And that's what Jero Winkler and Levenstein distance and things like that come into play because they're just much smarter ways of comparing two strings. So let's say we're implementing a search for an artist. Maybe you work for Spotify or Pandora or Apple Music or someone like those. I've got a list of the top thousand musicians from some time range. Now Metallica has one L or two Ls, I forget. It's got two Ls. We omit one, we'll still get Metallica. We'll also get Alaska and Aaliyah. Those are pretty good. Let's say we've never heard this band before. You might search for something like Metallica. And with a smart algorithm like this, you're gonna get what you're looking for. Now for, for search terms like musicians, it is actually extremely useful. I used to work for Napster and we had an abysmal search. It was pretty frustrating to be able to spell Taylor 18 different ways and uh, only get Taylor Swift if you had it perfect. But let's say you don't work for Spotify or you don't work for Pando or Apple Music or whatever else. What are you gonna use something like this for? Well, even if you're only running command line tools on the back end. Giving smart errors is a much better user experience than giving a crappy error or no error at all. So let's say we have a command interface similar to something like NPM itself. Type in command install. Well, Jero Winkler will tell me that. It might, it might be install. You know, a nice user experience would be like, ooh, I'm sorry, intall is not an actual command. Did you mean install? Press enter for yes or escape to cancel. All right, so I'm finally back in my house for several weeks. I'm excited because that gives me finally an opportunity to go over some of the longer form videos that I've been promising for the past few weeks. So we'll be doing that and I'll get a few more out this week. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, sorry. I will get something out this week. 
this is hard stuff and, and uh, it takes me a long time. I'm getting better and I'm getting faster, but it still takes a while. So if you like this stuff, then uh, please subscribe, hit the little belly thing, do all the YouTube -y stuff, and I'll see you next time. Later.